Hi, you guys. Brianna's back. We already did her refill. We are going to start off with a coat of Mademoiselle from Essie, of course. And then we will go back and we will do a second coat of Paloma, of course, by Perfect Match. Um, it is the perfect combination for a base color, a nice nude natural base color. I just absolutely love it. I know most of you already know that, but there's always somebody new watching that needs to know. One coat of Mademoiselle from Essie, one coat of Paloma from Perfect Match. It just creates the perfect color. So I am standing out back of my house near the pond, watching the little fishies swim around, watching the beautiful water come down the waterfall. And I'm doing this voiceover. So Brianna did show me an inspiration picture, which I forgot to take a clip of. I'm sorry about that. But hey, if anybody knows where this design came from, feel free to tag the nail artist. And if the nail artist sees it herself or his self, thank you very much for the inspiration. I do appreciate you and you do wonderful work. So I just wanted to put that out there. So let's get these babies aside and let's bring out my white chalk because they didn't have snowflake. And yes, there is a plane flying over, which I wish I was on right now. So for the alcohol ink, you guys, you need a white base. That's just a, the, a general rule, I think. At least I think. But it needs to be very thin because you, when you cure it, you want to make sure it's completely cured or it's going to wrinkle. So you need, just need a really, really thin coat, okay? And then after I cure it, I will start dabbing all my colors. I do not wipe off the tacky layer first. I've learned along the way that the tacky layer actually helps that alcohol ink sit there and not run all over the place. So let's get that out of the way. So what I decided to do first was come back in and do the gold outline on the white while the alcohol ink was still drying. Okay, so uh, I just want you to have a heads up on that because I didn't video that. So I'm going to go ahead and start dabbing the colors on. I have a size 2 um, 3D art brush that I'm using to dab these colors on. So I'm just going to go along and put the yellow on. Then I'm going to go back and I'm going to stick the orange on. And I really do like how the alcohol ink sits still um, because I left that tacky layer on that white. I, I really am digging that. Um, I did go back after I did the orange and I put a couple dabs of red alcohol ink on there because I just wanted to darken it up a little bit. And I am using acetone to spread the ink because I feel like it works better than the alcohol actually. So after I do the gold outline, I will come back in with, uh, with the black and I'll make the, you know, cracked up lines in, in the alcohol ink. And here's the final look. I love it. 